right, thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset. Era. Woohoo! All right. And if you've seen the title, we're bringing back Extraordinary, Extraordinary Heroes. Heroes. Checking out a new music video that just came out two months ago. It's already, it's already at, 10. at 10. Yeah, 10 million views. Oh my God, you guys are loving this one. It's called Little Things. Check out a couple comments and we'll jump into this one. What do we got? Extraordinary Heroes be bringing back the early 2000s band MV music video. Okay. And we're all here for it. We're here for all of it. All of it, yes. They're so underrated for no reason. The comeback is always a masterpiece. I think it's a song they meant. They have called the cult of comeback. Uh, man, JYP bands are so underrated. They all deserve the recognition they need. JYP, please make more MV for Extraordinary Heroes album B sides. Okay. As a stay, yeah, give, yeah, give B sides some love. Yeah, and as a, as a stay, I personally think uh, Extraordinary Heroes deserve the same kind of recognition and promotion the Stray Kids get. They should. Stray Kids we've done on our channel, so if you guys like them, we haven't done them in a while either. So if you yeah, if uh, anyone out there who's a particular who's a who's a who's a real cat for the Stray Kids, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, send some more links of them our way, and we'll check that we'll bring them back. Yeah, for sure. We'll bring them back to our channel. Anyway. Yeah, of course. We're oh, bringing it back. We're bringing it back. Extraordinary Heroes is a group that never disappoints. It is. They casually dropped an album of the year. <laughs> <laughs> How can they make masterpieces every comeback? Their debut was already so good. How many international fans are here to support Extraordinary Heroes? 110 replies on that one. A lot of people are just com commenting on underrated, how underrated they are. I, I guess in in comparison to you know stray other to kids, yeah. you know, like Stray Kids or mm -hmm. other other uh, musical contemporaries. Yeah. You know, in their uh, you know in their in their neck of the woods and. You know, yeah. in terms of style and everything, so it doesn't surprise me though. I mean, pop music usually the the forefront of most popularity. Yeah, like that's how that's how it is, and that's how it is over here in, yeah. in in the states. Is you know, like a lot of like the the big pop groups get the most kind of traction and the most yeah. you know media exposure and attention. Yep. Rock tends to be a smaller demographic, but that's okay. That's a dedicated why... demographic. Oh, yes. You know, like through all the ups and downs and cultural and societal changes, you know, rock's always been there. Right. So let's get rocking. Let's go ahead and jump into this one. And for anyone rocking out with us for the very first time, welcome to the channel. Welcome indeed. This will be like a third, I think, uh, Extraordinary Heroes video we've checked out. We've done two others before this one, and we had a good time watching them. Ooh, I just heard some rumble. But yeah, so there might be a little rumble in the tumble here. We're going to get into this one. It's going to rain. But if you're not new to the channel... You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for... The Glorious. The Epic. <gasps> Train! This guy looks sleepy. All right. Maybe he's just waking up. <laughs> Let's get into it. Extraordinary Heroes, Little Things, music video. Here we go. Do you remember? Chuggy chuggy chuggies. Strikes me so much when they have so many singers. Driving 
stops. I love the drums. Climbing out of the hole. Climbing Get out, out of the hole. Get out of the hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. Oh, we go through good. Oh, I forgot to lie. Lost in this hole. What a shot. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not gonna try. Trouble Troubleshooting. Shooting. Must be the production company. Very cool. I like the sound design of the water. Yeah, it's cool. We are all heroes. Yes, we are. I like how all these groups have like a saying or something. Like a little like motif. Alright, let's flip back over. All right, Extraordinary Heroes with Little Things. Uh, I would say that's pretty close to the realm of pop punk, I yep. would say. Nothing uh, little about that. No, no, really cool. Uh, a lot of the a lot of punk rock tropes, too. A lot of the kind of flashier fills, uh, kind of the breakdowns, hi-hat grooves and stuff. Yeah. I always Every time I watch them, I always kind of, it strikes me how similar they are to boy bands and the fact that, like, there's multiple singers. Uh, but it's almost like boy bands that play rock. It's kind of like kind of because they're all kind of kind of sort of. I think it's the way that they're presented too. They all kind of have very very sensual, like very like specific style, and you know, there's a lot just the way it's shot too. Like every member has a very close, unique close up of their face, and like yeah. you know, there's a lot of identity here. Um, and I, I think I think that's kind of what the whole point of this was was to try to scratch that itch for all of the groups that they do because JYP is a group that they do. Uh, I think they actually do BTS as well. I think I ended up looking up this record company before just to see who else they had on there. And they have a big, big, big. They're a huge label uh, with lots of different artists. Uh, but I think this was their kind of their answer to like the the folks that like rock but also are, are happy like really do like the boy bands and the the K pop. So it's like stuff. a it's like a kind of like a crossover. It's group. a good balance. Yeah. Or it's a good mix. It's yeah. a healthy mix. I like it. It's cool. And I like it for for, uh, for us as rockers and even even despite the fact that this may be a band that was manufactured, maybe they didn't know each other or anything. Um you know, I still think that it's a good song and it's still great to see them rocking and it seems like they have chemistry with each other, even yeah. if it's, you know, just from needing regardless each other. of the circumstances, right. there is some chemistry. Yeah, and that's and the positive attitude always goes a long way as well. So yeah. I enjoy it either way. Well let us know again if you wanna <laughs> if you want us to do any more of Extraordinary Heroes, so you can comment here on the video or back on our YouTube channel, uh community tab where the suggestion threads are located. That's right. <laughs> Just let us know what we uh, should be doing. And we'll go from there. We'll go from there. But in the meantime, we are Offset, Offset Era. Era. We are two-thirds of Offset Era, Southwest Florida's premier punk core three-piece. That's right. We have an extensive playlist of all of our original music, if you're curious as to how we sound and what punk core entails. Yep. And a fun, fresh, fully powerful six-track EP that's been out now for a couple of months called Top Shelf Villain. It's all out on all digital streaming platforms, so go check it out. We also have Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you follow us and there. And Patreon. And Patreon. If you're interested in following us, you can do that there as well. Yep. And we have shows coming up. That's right. Saturday, August 10th, we're going to be at the Hurt Opera House in Arcadia, Florida with The Dude, Six Eyes, and On the Fence. Yep, gonna be a great show. Can't wait for that one. Yeah, they and finally installed. They were finally able to install central air conditioning. AC, yes. I know. Like, <laughs> I know. Like, a lot, like there are some people that might say, "Oh, that's such a first world problem." Like, no air conditioning or right. 
But oh my god, like I mean, we're in it, Florida, guys. We're in Florida. It's <laughs> summertime. So, it's not fun. Air conditioning is. Uh, we uh, we fully acknowledge that air conditioning is a luxury that not everybody is able to have. Right. So we sincerely appreciate the access to cool, fresh air. Yes. When it is triple digits outside. Exactly. Uh, we also have another show coming up at Rackham's. Rackham Spirits and Times. Yep. With uh, Cruel Curses and Nine Soft. Yes. The newer SO, band. SOF. Nine Soft. Yeah, I listen to them. They're kind of like an indie band. And then, of course, of course Cruel Curses is kind of like a melodic kind of heavy band as yeah, well. So it's so. going to be it's gonna be a really cool, interesting, eclectic mix yeah. uh, for that night. And that's going to be us celebrating 10 years. 10 years. Yes. A long time playing together. Yeah, Sam's been about four of those years. October will be four years. And that's a long time for us to be playing as a band. So we're really excited to be still doing this. And Rackham's was one of the first places. Actually, it is the first place we played as a band. So yeah. me and Well, Vince, it was just you and Vince as a two-piece. As a two-piece. Piece. And then they came to their senses and decided to become a three piece with me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we've been working out well as a three piece as opposed to a hair piece, a four piece, a cock piece, or a time piece. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right. Well, that being said, that's the end of this video. Thank you again for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let us know what you want to see in the next one. And we will see you then. See you there. Peace out.